you're anything like me, then you've got photos, videos, projects of various kinds living across three cloud services and a dozen different hard drives that are on your desk or in a closet or something like that. And you rarely ever know how to find anything and you rarely have time to upload your stuff to the cloud to save it. It's a disaster. If this sounds familiar, then this is your sign. It is time to get a NAS, Network Attached Storage. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Ugreen NAS DH2300. It's a private backup workflow hub that feels like the cloud, but it lives with you in your space. And I want to tell you straight off the bat, thanks to Ugreen for sponsoring this and sending me these things to help me get out of my world of pain that is my storage. And if you're interested in one, you can get one for 20% off at the link in the description. That's from November 20th to December 1st. That would encompass the Black Friday times. Let's move forward. And, you know, maybe I'm telling you all this and you're like, well, what is it? Network attached storage? Why do I need one of those? Well, um... NAS or network attached storage is like your own personal cloud. You've got this guy, it has two hard drives in it. It's attached to your network and you put everything all in one place. So if you've got pictures on your phone and stuff on your iPad and you've got a hard drive that you work on from your MacBook or whatever, you can just collect all those things and put them all in one place. You can organize them nicely so that you don't have to go digging around it or do what I do, which is just go to the search window and type in something that I think it might be called. Yeah, this video is as much for me <laughs> as it is for you. And the Ugreen NH2300 is perfectly positioned for like a one person show. Uh, a really great backup solution for somebody that maybe doesn't have a big team or anything like that, but just needs one place to store everything. So Jason, why should I consider the Ugreen NH2300 over other NAS op opportunities are, that are out there or just one single hard drive? Well, let me tell you, for one thing, it's a private solution. It's expandable up to 60 terabytes. That's 60 terabytes. That's, that's a lot. And even if this is your first NAS, you can use it and it's it'll be easy to use. It's got NFC, so you can connect right to it, power button, LAN connection, disc one, disc two, USB-C, and that's easy. And then also you've got two USB 3.2s back here. You've got your LAN port, so you can connect it to your network. And then you've got an HDMI port. So one thing that you could do with this is put the drives in there and if you have a collection of movies or music or something like that, like I do, then this can just live on your network near your, and then plugged into your television or your entertainment center, your projector, whatever it is that you have, can just sit right there and be connected to it and ready to go. If you've ever used a hard drive, DH2300 is pretty much as easy as that. There's no real difficulties in setting it up. But let's talk about capacity, compatibility, and that sort of thing. So when you get it, this guy just pops right off. And as you see, you've got two drive bays in there. They just pop right out like so. One, two, and inside, you'll see that you have the SATA connections right in there. No muss, no fuss, easy as pie. But Ugreen was nice enough to send me two of these four terabyte Iron Wolf drives to use for mine out of their packaging. They do also send you a package of screws that you can use to secure your drives in the drive base, as well as a tiny little screwdriver that's around here somewhere. The drives themselves are very easy to put together. You just want to slip them in here like so. Then they just slide in. They just sit right in there. Then you've got your screw holes. So you can get a couple of little screws here. A couple of little screws, screw it right in. You'll see here, you've got disc one, disc two, and it should just slot right in. This disc two, slot it right in, and it pops right in place. Then you can replace the magnetic cover, and voila, you are ready. So in here, I have two four terabyte drives, which means I could 
cons I could configure this in several different ways, but total of eight terabytes. But you can have up to 60 terabytes, which equates to something like 20 million photos at 40,000 movies, 62 million regular sized just old files. And then you can get whatever hard drive your heart, your heart desires. They do have an approved list that tells you what works the best. But, and, and I've used Iron Wolf drives in the past, and those are very, very good. You want to get a drive that is meant to be for a NAS, which meant, which basically just means that it's meant to be on and available and running 24 seven. It's just a little bit more hardy a drive than a regular three and a half inch drive that you would stick into a PC or something like that. I am often surprised when I watch phone repair videos or hear stories like, hey, my iPhone is broken and all of the photos that I've taken for all of my entire life are gone, are missing. And I wonder like, what are you doing? What, what exactly are you doing? With this guy, you can just use this as the target to back up all of your photos. All your photos go and they live in one place. You just you just sort of set it to go there and, and forget about it. There are tutorials on the Ugreen website that will walk you through each aspect of this, many different ways that you wanna use it. You can also use this as the time machine drive for your Mac. I used to not have a time machine drive or any kind of backup. This was way back in the, I think it was 2008, 2009. I was recording other people's music, but I didn't have any kind of networked storage. I just had another computer on my network that I just sometimes would back up stuff periodically. And one morning I went down to work on some mixes for my friend whose record was in the mix stage. So almost finished. And I heard as I went down the stairs to the studio, a and my heart went into palpitations and I, I knew immediately what it was. It was um, the sound of a dead hard drive. I, I swear to God, it was the, the cause of my anxiety disorder. It freaked me out so bad, but I was lucky enough that I had backed up the entire project on the other computer's hard drive like two weeks before. So all of when we finished tracking, so all of the mixes were gone, but I still had all the tracks. So I had to do two weeks worth of work over again, but had I the Ugreen DH2300, all of my stuff could have been on here. And the nice thing is, yeah, you've got these two drives in here and you can get NASs that have, you know, four, eight, 10, 12 drives, however much you want. But this nice little guy, he's desktop friendly, has two drives and with four terabyte drives in here, I can do one of two things. I can set it up so that we've got, you know, eight terabytes that are striped across both drives. And so I have eight terabytes of storage, or I could set it up so that one drive, one four terabyte drive and the other four terabyte drive mirror each other. So if this guy dies, then this guy has everything on it. And if I had had that set up, in 2008, I would not have had to worry because everything would have been there. Not only do I have backups in the cloud right now of everything that I do, I also have a time machine drive that runs at all times. And if you're not familiar on the Mac with the time machine function, basically you point the time machine program at a hard drive and then it will back up once every hour. You can get to that stuff going all the way back until the drive fills up and then it starts deleting things from the back end. So you have a once an hour mirror, a time machine available to you of everything that you've been doing. So even if say, say you're, you accidentally delete something and oh my God, I can't get it back. With time machine, you could go back in time to a time before the terrible thing happened and reclaim the thing that had gone bad. It's an incredible sense of relief when you realize that even though you mess something up, you can still get it back. And not only that, but I mean, this, this thing, if you compare upload speeds for this thing to upload speeds on to the cloud, the speed with which it ends up here, so much faster than it would be if it had to go up to the Google cloud and then come down. 
So if you have a gigabit network, which is pretty typical for most people, most people don't have 10 gigabit networks, but if you have a gigabit network, then you can push about 125 megabytes per second. That's a one gigabyte file in just several seconds while the cloud uploads can take forever. Sometimes your phone will stop it because it doesn't want to use your data or whatever. And then you're looking for it and it's not there. This is a no muss, no fuss solution for backing things up and having them available at another workstation, let's say. You can also create different accounts for people in your house. So say you have, you know, your, your, your significant other also has photos that they want to back up here and all that. Everybody can have their own account and it can be sort of private foldered off and you can share the rights that you want to with people. You create accounts for your household or your team if you're in a business setting and they all get access. Everything can be kept private. You could share only specific things. It works like like a cloud, but it is in right, right there. It's, it's here. You go ahead and download the, once the Ugreen Mass app has open, has downloaded, open it up, agree to all the things, new device registration, and then you'll want to turn it on. Once everything comes on, you'll have your power button here. This is your network and then your two drives. Everything seems to be in order. So let's search for it. There it is. That beep, I believe we can begin. Registration, you agree to everything. Get everything signed on here. And then we are initializing. First time setup is guided, so you don't really have to worry about that. You turn it on, you wait for everything to turn white, you wait for the thing to beep, telling you that it's connected to the network, and then you download the app. It searches for your device. You'll get a name, a password as an administrator, and you'll be on your way, ready to go. The app you can use to manage, classify, search for files quickly. You can access your drive away from home and connect remotely, keep going and getting things that you might need for work no matter where you are on your computer, on your phone. You can get all that stuff straight from your drive that's sitting on your desk at home. For creators, small teams, families with growing libraries, a local NAS really eliminates the cloud sprawl which can, after a while, get out of control. For my workflow, it's the hub of all my camera offloads. It's where my projects sit. It's where all of the music that I'm recording goes to. And then I also back up all of my photos and my music that I actually own and listen to that I'm still ripping off of the hundreds of CDs that I have from days gone by. So bring your cloud home. Come on, do it. Click the link in the description down below, 20% off through Black Friday up to December 1st. This is the Ugreen NAS DH2300. It's your private backup and workflow hub, and it'll free you from all the hassle of not knowing exactly where anything is, and it'll all be right here. So click the link down in the description below and check it out. Let them know that uh, PHT Jason sent you. And uh, thanks so much for being here. Thanks to you, Green, for sponsoring the video and giving me this thing so that I can save myself from my disorganized self. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest tech. Tech so honest that it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.